Evening everybody, Rich here, back for another From the Depths a Sinking Ship video, and this is Sinking the SS France. Uh, this is another requested video, uh, it's been requested several times actually, along with the Poseidon, which I don't have yet. Um, this is uh, the SS France, which I've already built, uh, or done a tutorial for uh, construction in Minecraft, so if you're interested in that, then by all means have a look. Um, and what I've done, I've converted it to From the Depths. Uh, for the purpose of today is to destroy it, or at least to try and sink it. So uh, here's the uh, SS France. Like I said, it is uh, uh, converted straight from uh, Minecraft. Uh, a few mi uh, minor adjustments, and it's also been beamed as well. So uh, all the uh, uh, structure is made out of four, two, and three uh, meter long sections, rather than block by block. So uh, this is what we have. We have the SS France. Not particularly accurate, well I say accurate, it's, it's alright, it's, it's not perfect. Um, this is also a, a standing ship as well, it's got a full propulsion system, I mean there's propellers and there's engines inside, but uh, I spent the last video which was um, uh, SS United States, I spent most of the video just trying to, just trying to stop the engine, so uh, I think I have it as a, a standing uh, ship for today. Uh, we've got the propellers, as you can as you can probably tell, we've got propellers on propellers, so it, it can move. It is a propulsion, a propulsion ship, but uh, just for the purpose of today, I'll keep it as as uh, a static. So uh, that's the SS France, and as usual, got the old member here, and uh, once again, loaded with various different types of ammunition. And the first thing we're going to do is aim at the bow. So we just aim roughly on the fore peak and see what we can come up with. The gun on the top, very slow, but uh, it's a very good deterrent. So, shot number one, what do we get? Blast on the bow. And that is done enough damage, you can actually see the hole in the side. And she is w she wishes wounded quite badly, actually. So we'll just have a nosy on over, and yep, she's quite badly damaged. Uh, that's pretty obvious. So what we got? The damage-wise, oh, the, the draft of the ship is actually fine, but the uh, the hull is actually breached, and uh, the longitude bulkhead has been split as well. So the whole front bow, the whole front of the ship is now flooded. Nice. Right. So that's uh, that's <laughs> that one done. So what we're going to do? We're going to aim a bit further along. So let's roughly see where the compartment is. Not there. Not there. There. So if we aim roughly about. Here, and we'll see what damage can be done. So, if we go, here comes the shell. Another nice boom in the side there. Huge explosion that causes. But, it's not breached. No, it hasn't breached the bottom here, so the, the deck is sealed still. So, or well, the compartment's still sealed. So, she's not going to sink. Have another go. See if that will hit. <laughs> and did that do the damage? Oh, yep, that's done the damage. Now she's on the way down again. And she's starting to list as well. That's the uh, longitude bulkhead taking uh, effect there. And she's listing very slightly to the uh, to her right, which is what that's uh, starboard, isn't it? And oh, hang on, she's listing a bit more. She's still going, or is that just a wave? That's just a wave. Right, so we've got a big hole in the side now, and there's uh, several. Is that how is that flooded? Oh, yeah, that's, that's why it's flooded. There's just a very small hole in the in the side there. So we aim a bit more that way and see if we can do a bit more damage. <laughs> Those shells ricocheted up and uh, have obliterated several things. Okay, let's move swiftly on to the next compartment. See what we can do there. So we aim a bit further down. <laughs> problem with those shells, they skim the water and bounce upwards, that's why that's the problem <laughs> we got. So we've got a nice hole in the superstructure now. A second one, so a few scorch might oh, bloody hell. So one of those shells has actually gone right through the ship and gone out the other side, so uh yeah, and also on the other side, down a bit further on as well. So the shells, they are high explosives, they're also very, very hard as well, so um, 
when they go through something, they tend to go out the other way, uh, out the other side. So they're uh, they pack a punch. Right. Um, well, I think what we do now, um, let's launch a torpedo or two just to be a, a bastard. Or shall we? Or should we wait a minute? Let's actually wait. Where's Mamba gone? Oh, there she is. Mamba is here, and we're going to aim. Let's try and aim a bit further forward. I'm trying to aim below the waterline. Just to try and hit a compartment, but I don't want to hit too um, too high up or too too low to the water because it skims the shells will skim and just obliterate the uh, <coughs> excuse me superstructure. So that's hit right there. And that no effect. Okay, that another go. Try a bit further down, actually. See that got that gun on the top there. It's ridiculous reload, ridic well, ridiculously slow at reload, ridiculously low slow at aiming. But when it goes off, it can pack a massive punch. And still, France is not sinking. Well, she's sinking, but she's not sunk. Right. <laughs> and the shells are rebound all over the place. Look at this piece has fallen off now. This <laughs> I'm trying to sink the bloody thing. I think I think it's going to fall apart before it sinks. Right, it's aim there. See if that compartment will breach. Oh, that's a good one. Yep, that was a good boom. And now now the folks was going under. Right now she's now she's taking a dive. <laughs> the pieces are all over the place. She's taking a dive. She's not taking a huge dive there. She's kind of settled where she is. She's listed. But she's not going any further. Right. Drastic action. Let's try and blow up something else. Um, so we've got that compartment. There's this longitude compartment can go. If we can. Yep, that hit. And there, there, there. She's going down a bit more now. That was a big blast. So now the vents on the bow are just poking above the water. And she's still going gradually. Right, now she's settled, now she's starting to bobble a bit. Right, so that was a, an interesting shot. There, <laughs> there ain't much here now. But, uh, yeah, this thing, this this whole draft is made out of uh, heavy armor. That's why it's not uh, damaging, but uh, the the rest of the hull is pretty much alloy. So um, that's uh, that's why it's so uh, easy to destroy. But the, the heavy armor is ricocheting most of everything else. So these propellers, the propellers are now above the water and uh, looking a bit uh, out of place. So what we're going to do? We're going to launch a torpedo now. I say launch a torpedo. We're gonna to launch um, 50, uh, 85 torpedoes just to just to make sure it, the job is done. So uh, there's the torpedoes in the water there. Let's see where they hit. Well, they're gonna hit all the way along. So there we go. Obliteration all along the side, and now she's taking another another dive. She's gonna go down pretty quickly, I think. Now the bridge is on the water line. So the captain is probably wetting himself. Now we've got uh, two seats up here. It's completely empty in here, but so you've got the two seats and the control panel. I've got a fire control panel as well, which I don't know why, but I just put it there for, for decoration. And oh shit, she's taking another list. Oh, oh I thought she was going to go down. I thought it was just a wave. Blimey. <laughs> I was just a bit worried, that's all. Right. Let's have another go, let's have another torpedo. Here they come, and most of them are going to miss because they're aiming the wrong way. Because the, sh the, the, the blast of the gun has actually moved the, sh the, uh, the mamba away. Nope, oh, piece just fell off. And torpedo strike the bow. And she takes another list. Oh, blimey, that's quite a, quite a hefty list. 
Now the bridge is underwater. One bridge wing is above the water. You can really see the effect of that list. And you've got one side lifeboats are above the water, but you can't launch them though, because well, you wouldn't be able to launch them in real life because of the angle. But you can't really launch lifeboats on this game. I think yeah, there is a way of doing it. I think because they're all if you put a, a, a mainframe or a controller in the lifeboats, there's probably a way of launching them. I just haven't got around to doing it. So that's how she looks from here. Looks quite horrific. And the propellers. One bank of propellers is completely out of the water now. So what we're going to do, what we usually do, aim some torpedoes at it. But first I've got to re, re aim what Mamba's doing. Mamba is, where is she? Mamba, looks she's completely away from, we turn the Mamba back towards the ship. Because the recoil of the gun is actually making the uh, Mamba float away from the from positions, that's why she's uh, moved from, from position. So if we move, actually if we look at it from this angle, look at it from the distance, just see her go down. It does look quite horrific from here. So the torpedoes have launched. There we go. It uh, looks like she's listing a bit more now. We just zoom in a bit. <laughs> there are pieces on the surface. I don't know. I don't know where half these pieces have come from. I don't know what that is. I think that might have been. Oh, that might have been the uh, one of the vents. It's uh, broken off. It was trying to float away. All right. So underwater damage is. Well, obliteration, apart from the bridge wing, the bridge wings last quite a long time. Alright, so what we're going to do now, same again, launch another 85 torpedoes, just to be awkward. Here they come. takes on a bit more of a list. I mean that is quite a hefty list now. So they just hold the stern dive a bit more. So she's leveled out a bit leveled out uh, in terms of forward list, but the list to one side is greater. But she still ain't going under. You can see the you can see the propellers in the distance and more in the water now. All right, Let's have another go. Launch a few more torpedoes. Another big blast there. Another one on the bow. Another forward list. Just pure obliteration. So is she rising or is she listing a bit more? She's sort of settled where she is now. So you can tell the bridge is completely under, as you can see there. And the, well, the bridge wing is now gone. <laughs> but uh, the bridge is fine. So once again, a few more torpedoes. It's doing the job. Gradually, but it's doing the job. Let me fly around the stern now. So you see the propellers are now back in the water. Huge blast there. Oh, oh dear into the drop there. So she's taken on an even greater list. Just fire a few more just for the sake of it. It's basically uh it's basically all the video is is me firing torpedoes at a ship until it's gone so uh, 
whole purpose of this. Quite a popular series <laughs> for some reason. Has she taken on any more of a list? I don't think she has. I think she might have sunk a bit more at the front, but... Oh, she's listing a bit more by the looks of it. There is a bit more of an angle. So up on the deck. <laughs> you won't be able to walk on it. Let's just walk around in here. There should be doors up there, ain't there? And there's the water there. So a good majority of the ship's now underwater. What do we do to that? We send off more torpedoes. Well, we're at the right angle, yeah, we're fine. Ooh, that was a big list. Now the bridge wing, watch the bridge wing there, it's just going under. There's definitely some sinking, but it's not an awful lot, so... Let's have a look at the uh, the damage, you can see all those bits falling off there. It's, uh, pieces of lifeboat just uh, disappear, <laughs> disappearing. And there is not much left on the side there at all. It's just open side now. Completely blown to pieces and there are pieces breaking off, look. More torpedoes, just for fun. And uh, <laughs> large chunks. Surprised the mast is still there, actually, because that, that's you know, something that goes pretty easily. <laughs> and down she goes a bit more. If you look, this side is completely intact, but the other side was completely destroyed. And what's that big piece there? There's a window in it, so that's a piece of superstructure that's come off. But I don't know where it came off. Probably part of the funnel. Because the funnel took a hit that time. Yes. There's loads of damage. Well, you can tell that anyway. There's been shitloads of damage. And there's not really damage, it's more... Uh, devastation. Here comes the next rope. No more damage there, and a big lurch there. So you can see the mast is halfway underwater now. So I'm going to turn the mambo slightly towards the bow of the uh, the ship. And more pieces break it off. I'm just try and aim a bit more. See if we can get torpedo damage to the bow just to uh, try and level it out a bit more. Just have a look. So she is a bit more that way. I think the recoil of the uh, the weapons going off is, re is making the ship rotate. The, f the ship that's firing, that is. There we go. More strikes. And another plunge in the bow. So you can see the mast is just moving slowly. And I think she's just settled there. So I think the torpedoes are now beginning to break through the ship. <laughs> so. Uh, it's actually quite a, quite a good fight. I mean, there's the amount of damage that's been done. He's put up more of a fight than the uh, the SS United States, but uh, I did blow that thing in two, so uh, or break it in two, so it was a bit more easier to deal with. Oh, most of those torpedoes missed. bit more
more of a lurch. You can see the mast is going under a bit more. Fire a few more torpedoes just to fix any problems. And the propeller is now at the water as well. See the propellers are much higher at the water again. They've been up, they've been down, and then back out again. So if I sit here, you probably see them rise. So you hear everything exploding. And the ship is listing a bit more, is it? Oh, blimey. Oh, shit, that's a huge list. Whoa. See, so yeah, the stern is really rising now. That's quite a, quite a big plunge. So what's happened? Oh, the funnel's gone under, blimey. So that was a huge blast. What? Oh, the mast has gone, that's why. The mast, the bridge, oh, bloody hell. Pretty much everything's gone. Oh, well. And actually, the funnel is attached by... Nothing. So the mast is going to break off in a sec. Great. So, uh, so large objects are now detached from the main body of the ship. So let's sit here and watch. Another blast and another another list a bit more. And then once again the stern is rising. That's quite an eerie look when you see that the stern just gradually rising with the propellers. You can see they're all clear of the water now. And the forward section, is that funnel still there or is it gone completely down that's still there? So that should, in theory, break off, but there's nothing attaching it now. So I'll give it a minute or two and it should just fall off, or it should float to the surface and then break apart. So we'll fire a few more torpedoes, just for the fun of it. Blast there. And another one. And got a lot of movement. You see the ship is really going. You know, the whole propeller shaft is out of the water now. That shows you how much this thing is going down. You've got the keel, you can see the keel now. And the tiddly little rudder. And then I'm just stood stood still here. You can see the ship is moving. The bow's going down, the stern's going up. Just shows you how much effect that uh, last blast had. So there ain't much left for the ship. A few more blasts. She'll take a massive dive down. As you can see, the stern is still rising. It's very gradual, but it's still rising. Probably going to rise a bit more now. So you just see hundreds of pieces rising to the surface. Stern is continuing to rise. You can see the keel is right in the horizon now. Launch a few more torpedoes. You can see the silhouette of the ship though. I mean, the silhouette's all there, but the ship is actually gone. Well, most of it has been destroyed. Blast in the stern there. So now the f second funnel's going under now. And if you look, the stern is still rising. So that is that's all four propellers, isn't it? 
no, just a three, but oh, one's badly damaged. And the other one is gone, so we've got two propellers missing. That is horrific, look at that. If I just sit here, you can see the ship is still moving. The stern is still rising. The ship is, well, the bow's going down. So a few more torpedoes. Because you're nowhere near the seabed yet either. Last blast was quite damaging. I think the stern took a dive, and I was just starting to rise again. I think I thought the stern took a dive downwards. Blimey! See, I'm just stood still here, and you can see the stern is still moving. The ship isn't really sinking; it's more just up angling or up ending. If we look at it from the member, you just—that's all you see. That's that is everything you see from the member. Just a ship in the distance, just with a harass end in the air. Then we fly back over there. Then we can fire a few more torpedoes. It was quite a big blast, and now the ship is, and now, now the ship is starting down. She's up angled, she's up ended. Now she's going to start gradually sliding away. She's not near the seabed. I don't think we just fly down. So the bow is st still a long way from the seabed, so she's not touched bottom yet. There's the next wave of torpedoes. <laughs> Huge amounts of damage and a big drop there. So now she's starting down properly. Well, she was, it's just a, a big movement and then she stopped. Now just keep firing torpedoes until she gets down. She, I don't think she's going to go down properly. I think areas have to be blown apart. But I've got a feeling there are compartments which are not flooded. That was a blast in there, and that was another lurch there, you can see. I'm going to pop inside and see what there is, if there's any... So we've got... This comp last compartment's flooded. This one isn't, so that's a dry compartment. That's a dry compartment. And the engine room was dry. And that's flooded, so there's a... There's is that dry? Actually, there, there are quite a few dry compartments still on there. I mean, most of the uh, port side are, uh, uh, or the, the starboard side are completely dry. Hmm, so what we're going to do, we're going to try and aim the big gun now. We're going to try and aim towards the uh, that area and... Uh, where's the magma going? I can't see. Oh, there it is. Try and aim the big gun into that area and try and pop the, com the uh, compartments. There we go, here comes the shells. Will they hit? Oh yes, they hit. And I think they blew a compartment open because that was a big lurch. Just send in a few more shells. And a few more torpedoes. She's she's almost done now. <laughs> Pieces falling off. Oh, it comes some more shells. And yep, I think that may have popped a com uh, compartment. But the torpedoes are on their way anyway. Here they come. 
Oh. Oh. <laughs> Most of them missed. Right, I think that's because... Yep, Mamba is out of sync again, so we've got to turn Mamba that way. God, this is taking forever. But still, <laughs> loads of wreckage everywhere. We've only got that, this small portion of the ship left. So we'll set off a few more torpedoes and she should start down. Yep, that was a big boom. Down goes the stern. And I think that is pretty much it. Saying that should probably come back up completely rebuilt. And down she goes. There we go. Yes, this France is gone. Took about half an hour to do it, but she's uh, finally bitten the dust. And now she's going to take a very slow dive to the seabed. As you can see, she's already there, but uh, she'll take a gradual dive to the seabed. So um, I may, at the end of this video, do a quick uh, tour around the wreck, but it depends how long she takes. If she takes too long, I, will, uh, I won't bother. But uh, there's a huge amount of torture she took. I mean, look at that. This whole stern's almost been blown off. Uh, the uh, start, uh, the port side of the ship is not too bad. There's a lot of damage to it, but compared to the other side, but yeah. I mean, if you look, I mean, look at her through the light there. She looks intact. And then you zoom in, you see it's actually just a ghost. Eerie as hell. What are those big pieces that broke off? Where are they? Oh, these are lifeboats. <laughs> the lifeboats have fallen off. So that's uh, that. So the funnels have all gone, haven't they? Yeah, the funnels have disappeared. And it's still got uh, two lifeboats intact there. But the rest of the ship is completely destroyed. So there isn't really much else to say. Anyway, that's uh, gone from the surface, so that's pretty much it. So this is the SS France uh, destroyed and sunk. So. Yep, she did it there. So this is <laughs> this is Rich signing off, logging off, and disappearing. Uh, and I shall return with another video. So uh, bye for now.